Today Saints of the Day of February 25th is Saints Luigi Versiglia and Callisto Caravario when these two Salesians in love with Christ met in 1921, Monsignor Luigi Versiglia, 1873-1930, was passing through Turin, with already 15 years of mission in China behind him, while Callisto Caravario, 1903-1930, was an ardent 18-year-old from desire to become a priest and dedicate himself to the missionary life. I will soon join you in China. Together we will make known the light of Christ, Callisto said on the occasion. Both were very attached to the charism of Saint John Bosco, Monsignor Versiglia, who at the age of twelve had been sent to study by the Salesians in Turin, had also had the grace of meeting Don Bosco, who one day said to him, Come and see me, I have something to tell you. There was no opportunity, because the giant of charity died shortly after. But the adolescent Luigi was struck by those words and soon the priestly vocation matured in him, receiving ordination in 1895. He left for China in 1906 and he settled in Macau, where he founded the Mother House of the Salesians, a base for evangelization activities and help to the least. In the city they called him, Father of Orphans. He then extended his apostolate in the neighboring region of Guangdong, in particular in Xiaoguan, of which he became the first bishop in 1920. In the new diocese, the saint founded a seminary, an orphanage, a home for the elderly, several schools and multiplied the efforts for the teaching of the catechism. Three thousand people received baptism and various vocations arose. Saint Louis Versiglia managed to do all this in a very difficult phase for China, where the Republic of China was proclaimed on January 1, 1912 and the imperial era ended. The instability of the newborn republic worsened with the infiltration of the Soviet communists, who in 1927 were outlawed by General Chiang Kai-shek, an act that marked the beginning of a long civil war. In that climate, life for foreigners and especially for Christian missionaries, exposed both to the violence of brigands and to the hatred of communist ideology towards Christianity, was not at all simple. Thus, when a priest friend who had come from Italy handed the saint the chalice with which Don Paolo Albera, 1845-1921, had celebrated his fifty years of priesthood, Versiglia recalled a vision revealed by Don Bosco to the Salesians in 1885, Don Bosco saw that when a cup in China would be filled with blood, the Salesian work would have spread wonderfully among this immense people. You bring me the chalice seen by the Father, it is up to me to fill it with blood for the fulfillment of the vision. Saint Callisto Caravario was animated by a similar awareness, who kept his promise by embarking for China towards the age of twenty and there he was ordained a priest by Versiglia himself in 1929. In one of his moving letters to his mother, the young man wrote, By now your Callisto is no longer yours, it must be completely of the Lord, completely dedicated to his service? Will my priesthood be short or long? I don't know. The important thing is that I do well and that by presenting myself to the Lord I can say that I have, with his help, made the graces that he has given me bear fruit. The time to bear witness to Christ with the ultimate sacrifice came in February 1930, when Versiglia decided to visit the small Christian community of Lin Chao, which was in an area devastated by the civil war, if we wait for the roads to be safe, we won't leave any more. Don Callisto, two teachers with their young, Sisters and a 22-year-old catechist also left with the bishop. After the first part of the train, an elderly catechist and a child joined the group. The journey continued by boat, which was stopped on February 25th by a dozen armed men. Since the missionaries did not have the $500 expected from the pirates, the latter decided to kidnap the three young women, whom the two saints tried to protect. Take us, but we beg you to save these girls. The bandits beat them and took them to a wood, where one of them said, we must destroy the Catholic Church. Monsignor Luigi and Don Callisto, now linked, began to pray aloud, interrupted only by the shots that put an end to their earthly life. The three girls were forced to go with the criminals, but they will be released from the army five days later and will testify with what strength the two Salesians faced martyrdom. A fortress that struck the executioners, so much so that one said, it is inexplicable, we have seen so many, all fear death. These two, on the other hand, died happy, from resurrected.